Hi friends, so welcome to a session on geometry and we are going to start up with uh, circles, okay? So uh, what is a circle guys? If you know from your basic definition since your childhood you have been ta taught about all of this. So circle is uh, all around you. If you can see a coin, a bangle, uh, you know, the sun appears to be circular during the daytime, even the full moon is circular. So there are so many you know, uh, circular circle around you. So hence we are going to describe circles, define circles, different parts of circles, properties of circles. And you know what, uh, Euclid, uh, the famous mathematician of uh, before Christian era times, he has done a lot of work on circles and related theorems. So we will be discussing uh, all those properties of circles and um, different theorems and axioms related to it. So let's begin. First of all, we'll define circle. So a circle is defined as a path traced by a point on a plane, okay, with certain conditions. Now, uh, please uh, keep this definition, you know, uh, in your uh, mind always. So a circle is defined in a plane, right? Uh, so you must have a plane first, and then it is defined as a path traced out by a point which is equidistant from another point on the same plane okay so let's begin by drawing it so i am drawing a point a here and i drew this circle right so point b is on the circle and a is called the center of the circle now let me just draw another point here c let's say now if you see if i move this point c you know so i am moving this point c and as i am moving you know it is it is tracing a path which the path is the circle itself can you see and there's interesting fact about this movement what is it let me measure the distance between a and c okay so let me measure the distance so between a and c it is six six units in this case it is six centimeter okay so let me just yeah take it away and let me also join this point a to point c okay now this AC guys, AC, this point AC, this uh, line AC is nothing but the radius of this uh, circle. This is called the radius of the circle. Now watch this. So if I'm moving this point C now, so let me just move this point C. Can you see I am moving the point C. Let me just eliminate this extra uh, thing. Yeah. So I am now moving point C and if you see, always it is having a distance of six units from the center isn't it so this is the important fact about the circle so what did we learn about this so there is a point c which is moving on a plane such that its distance from another point on the same plane again re-emphasizing same plane is constant and this value in this case is six right i could have moved this so if you know i am changing the circle uh, you know the value of ac the radius and you can see in this case also c is moving on the same path so this path traced out is called let me trace the path of c so you'll get to see that you know it is nothing but it is falling on the circle itself can you see guys now i am tracing the path of c so as c is moving i am tracing the path if you see as c is moving such that it is making it is you know not changing its distance from point a which is also called the center and you will see it traces out a perfect circle isn't it see it is it is tracing out uh, so wherever point c is going it is tracing out this particular path and this path is nothing but a circle right so this is what is definition of circle guys right now any point within this periphery let's say if i take a point b here right and join ad okay so let me join ad and let me measure ad as well so if you see this is 5.85 what is the value 5.85 isn't it which is clearly less than 8 that is the radius right and let me take another point here e and let me join the points a and e so i joined a and e okay now let me measure this so how much is this distance ae 
So if you see AE is 10.61, right? So hence as if I move AE, let's say, let me move the point E. So as I am, you know, so as E moves, it is always more than 8. Can you see? And as I go towards the center, the distance AE is reducing and on the circle it is 8. Can you see? Now E is sitting on the circle, so it is equal to the radius. The distance from the center is equal to the radius 8. And as it comes in, the value AE changes and reduces from below 8. Right, and at the center it becomes zero. So if you see anywhere all these points, wherever E is there with the radius or so distance is less than the radius, this part is called the internal part region, internal region of the circle. And this part where the radius is more than the you know, oh sorry, the distance between E and A is more than the radius is called external part of or external region to the circle. And there is a third thing which is the circle itself. So we see the circle is dividing the plane into two parts internal region and external region. So you may count the circle itself into the internal region. So, right? So there are two parts of the plane if you are discounting the circle itself the outside of circle and inside of circle. Outside the distance between the point, any point outside the circle, the distance between the point and the center will be more than the radius and any point inside the circle the distance between the center and the point itself will be less than the radius so this is what we learned in the first session so for this you know uh, for more properties and attributes of circle we'll uh, will you know go through all of them in the next session thank you